that's the main thing yeah. mm. what do you say what, what is your take on it even here you know all our, you know everything is jumbled or what mixed up <laughs> those days it was easy we had the indian team pakistan then the kiwis then the australia england done just 5 16th okay these are the english players these are the kiwis we are clear but now it's all mixed up <laughs> i don't know who are in chennai super kings this dranji so about the games let's come back to games that's an interesting topic so there's a beautiful idiom to fun and game mm, yeah <laughs> can you give me a sentence or should i say first uh, you can go first <laughs> uh we all went to the uh, amuse- uh amusement park everything was fun and game until one of us fell and broke our so, leg and today fortunately we have a fantastic uh, topic games yeah <laughs> so which is your favorite game hi good afternoon hi arundhati how are you hi i'm doing great what about you yeah thank you i am also fantastic that's great <laughs> is it holidays for you uh yeah actually today for ambedkar jayanti we got a day off Okay otherwise the school is still on yes so you don't have a break during summer summer vacation we do have a break during summer but it starts from may and goes up to 15th or 16th of june but there's no break in april april but what about after your final exams sometime in march yes, do you have a short a, break yeah there is like a two or three weeks break for the month yes. of march yeah I know it's all new system. For us, it was not like that. Once the exam was over, it was two months solid holidays, and you know we literally threw our books the last day of the exam, and we were just chilling for two months. We totally forgot that we even had books. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the cool days. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But nowadays, there's the new system, so that's mm. how it works. And anyway. uh now tell me arundhati which class are you studying what do you do and what are your hobbies just uh, i'm briefly. i'm in grade 9th right now and i i love to read and paint i have many hobbies and reading is one of my main hobbies and also i love to sing as well fabulous and Thank where you. are you put up now uh, i am in the city of bhilai in the state of chatisgarh okay okay good and we're very happy to hear about you hear from you and i'm shareen nandakumar your coach for the day from clapping go okay and uh, i am from chennai basically settled in chennai for the last 30 years and i've been working as an english teacher all through on and off not continuous though oh. uh, due to my family responsibility <laughs> mm-hmm. because my husband was always traveling for the same reason uh, i know i had to sacrifice and be with my daughters mm-hmm. uh, yeah. but english is always a passion for me i will not say was it is uh, learning and teaching english has always been a passion that's why i'm here today that's great <laughs> so retired life is uh, i mean i find it quite fulfilling because i'm able to interact with such enthusiastic people like you because here they solely come for english right yeah yeah okay so that's it about me arundhati so and today fortunately we have a fantastic uh, topic games yeah <laughs> so which is your favorite game so i have many favorite games and uh, for like sports and those offline games i would say that basketball and badminton are one of my favorite games very nice yeah even mine to be very frank with you oh that's great <laughs> yeah. during my school days our school was the basketball champion oh okay and we used to go to cheer the mass cheer, cheer team you know we were all small yeah. i mean in the four classes and that was it was all we used to sit and watch how the girls used to play okay wow uh, and badminton we used to play i mean quite often i mean but i never took part in any matches and all but i enjoyed playing so very nice to hear that so that is the sports part right now yeah. what about the indoor games which you would like to spend you know okay so i would say that i 
I love Ludo and snakes and ladders. I play them a lot with my family, especially with my grandmother. And uh, lately, I have been like a little bit addicted to playing chess. Really? Oh, yeah. That's really nice. With whom do you play chess? Uh, it's sometimes online or sometimes with my mother. Hmm. That's really nice. But that's one dream of mine which never happened. I madly wanted to learn playing chess, but. To be frank with you, I never got the opportunity to do so. Okay, but as you said, even with my grandmother, I have played Ludo and Snake and Ladder because that was the only entertainment we had as during yeah. our young days. Okay, mm. yeah, that's nice, very good. Uh, do you write poems? Versification? Are you interested? Yeah. I am very interested in writing poems, and uh, whenever we have to give a, our entries or any stories or anything for our school magazine i love to write poems and they get published in the magazine and i love to write poems yeah good because uh, from what i've heard you have said so much about yourself so i guess there is nothing can keep you back from uh, jotting down few lines because at this age that's the best thing to happen right yeah, yeah writing poems so which is your favorite subject in your school i'm really fond of history huh? Good, good, good. I'm also very fond of history. There seems to be so much similarity between you and me, Arundhati. <laughs> Whatever you say, it seems to be my passion too. Even I'm very fond of history, you know. Yeah, whenever I get time, I try to dig into it and find out what, when, how. It's quite interesting. Yeah. And personally, do you think it's important to, because nowadays, you know, in this, the world, technology has IT, there is an IT boom during the last couple of decades as you know i mean yeah. all the changes which we find starting from the mobile phone to computer to lab you name it the tab uh, everything it's an it boom right yeah. it happened during the last only during the last couple of decades from mm -hmm. 2000 and onwards we can see this drastic change so uh, these techies and people who are into this type of mental state you know where you know they are after all these things they feel why are we even learning history what does history have to do what is your take on it Arundhati? okay so personally i think that all of what happened in the past all of it that happened in history should not be repeated again because there were a lot of bad things that happened like wars and famines and everything and when we learn history when we read about it when we, when we study it we get to know how we can prevent those things to happen and in that way we will be able to not repeat the same mistakes that uh, the kings and emperors of the past did so i think you that is you said it you said it. This is how history has to be useful, right? Yeah. We should learn from our mistakes what happened in the past, mm -hmm. right? We yeah. shouldn't repeat it. At least now, you know, there has not been a third world war. Let us be happy. Though the Russia, Ukraine, you know, that thing is going on and on and on. Luckily, it hasn't flared into a third world war, which yeah. could have happened easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least people are slightly aware. I mean, we shouldn't. And the whole world is standing against Russia, saying what you're doing is not right. But, yeah. you know, there are certain limitations to everybody. Nobody can get deep into, uh, I mean, people are all keeping a distance uh, to avoid a third major war, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. still, we, I mean, still, I mean, there are problems in all part of the world, little, little mm -hmm. here and there. We know that because that's how life has always been. Research mm -hmm. says, world is always the same yeah yeah that's how it is you know it's never going to be a paradise where everything <clears throat> is hunky dory and mm -hmm. all are just fine you know no it will never be so you know mm -hmm. man is a very complicated person and we each one of us are different and special so nothing of that sort is going to happen right yeah yeah, yeah. good 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 so about the games let's come back to games that's an interesting topic so there's a beautiful idiom to fun and game. Mm, yeah. <laughs> can you give me a sentence or should I say first? Uh, you can go first. <laughs> uh, we all went to the uh, muse, uh, amusement park. Everything was fun and game until one of us fell and broke our leg. <laughs> oh. 
okay um it was all fun it was all fun and games until we realized okay so we went to the uh, what should i say we went to the circus and bought a lot of things it was all fun and games till we realized that our wallet got stolen yes excellent that's a good one <laughs> yeah that's a very good one yeah it's a very good uh, idiom which you can use you know on often mm-hmm. yeah yeah so that's it and there is there's a fair game what do you mean by fair game so everything should be fine okay yeah mm-hmm. without any complication like let me see get a sentence from you everything was fair game fair game i it, it is i i think we can't really use that idiom in our day to day life yeah, it's not very easy it's not very easy yeah. to use yeah then mm-hmm. it's not like fun and game but this everything was fair game i mean when when i went to the bank and i did every, i mean you know everything was fair game you know, there was no problem at all it's very yeah. smooth a smooth happening okay mm-hmm. yeah that's it so you can dig on it later that is something uh, that one can take advantage of of to decide starting your own company in this industry is fair game mm-hmm. yeah yeah but actually in this world things are not so that's what i mm-hmm. believe to yeah. get something like that it's not easy at all yeah? yeah everything is not a fair game in this world i mean it's a uh, if i say it's a roller coaster ride right? yeah <laughs> yes right so then again coming so let's uh, talk about uh, games and sports so mm-hmm. do you think sports have a major role during the schooling days even in college in all educational institutions what is the role of sports and games okay so sports play a major role in all of our lives because when you play sports you get this habit of uh, leadership skills and also you know you are able to maintain a team you get you get like really nice team working skills and that is a good thing and also sports are really helpful for our body for our health because then we will be able to move our muscles and in that way we will not be very lazy or we will not be like a slob we will be energetic and we will be moving here and there and i think it also helps to like increase your height because i noticed that uh, i i used to go to a, a a ground to play basketball with my friends mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there was also some tutors there who used to teach us basketball and i did that for a year and my parents said that i almost grew like half a feet or something <laughs> <laughs> really that's I something think- which I, i mean i don't know how far it's true anyway sports is always good for health physically mm-hmm. to be physically yeah. active you know to be energetic something mm. and one important thing of sports what is it sharing you learn yeah. how uh, you know, see when you, there are two teams be it basketball or whatever type of game it is then you know you have this team spirit yeah team spirit yes yeah see when cricket match is going on you know how we cheer for our country yeah yeah see, are you a cricket fan or a soccer what would you, what what do you like football or cricket i don't like either of them you don't like either of them you are more fond of badminton and yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah. i am very fond of football oh very. wow okay yeah. the first we got the tv sometime in 1984 mm-hmm. i mean in my place got tv mm-hmm. and uh, in 86 i happened to watch the first football match oh way back in 1986 you know from that day onwards i have been a die hard fan and for your information i haven't missed watching any of the matches since then including this year also yeah because i find you know the way you know, the team spirit that's what inspires me it's not possible for any one person of course we hear the names uh, yeah. you know mbappe we have messi we have ronaldo we use umpteen names you know but do you think that one person is the winner and the team wins because of that one person no it's the team spirit and how they pass the ball from one person to the other one person to the other till you know the it reaches the goal it's a fantastic yeah. sight and this year the final match was a treat to the mind and the don't ask it was mm. it was a real good treat yes yeah. 
good old day good old days i used to watch cricket as well but now i lost interest because too many teams too many it's so confusing that's the main thing yeah. mm. what do you say what, what is your take on it even here you know all are, you know everything is jumbled or what mixed up <laughs> those days it was easy we had the indian team pakistan then the kiwis then the australia england done just 5 16th okay these are the english players these are the kiwis we are clear but now it's all mixed up <laughs> i don't know who are in chennai super kings this the rajasthan royal then delhi daredevils the name goes uh, each time i'm confused so then i just put it on the back burner okay fine that's it <laughs> yeah and who's your favorite player sneha uh, uh, neval or sindhu pv i don't really have as such any favorite player but i really admire pv sindhu true i like her personality too she's so simple down to earth very nice yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i keep watching her often i don't miss a chance whenever possible you know yeah so uh, i'll give you a small introduction since you said you're writing poems also when before we end the session uh, to be very frank arunthadi i don't have anything to tell you no i mean uh, no negative feedback you are you are very good fantastic um, nothing much to say i know most of the coaches would have told you the same right yeah <laughs> so i'll give a small introduction about uh, you this before we end the session like there are different types of poems are you aware about it mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, whatever you know can you share with me are you aware do you know the names i mean i uh, know like only a little bit i don't really know much about much. it okay yeah what do you know have you heard about epic poems mahabharata and rama ramayana called epic poems why because you know they tell you a big story it's quite lengthy they are called yeah. epic poems homer's iliad odyssey all these are other examples of epic poems okay mm. so that's okay. one type and then you have the free verse free verse so there is no rules they don't have any rules you know they just anything you can focus and you can just keep writing usually a poem means the most important thing is the rhymes they will always have a rhyme scheme yeah mm. a b a b o a a b b whatever it is mm. it will be easy because that brings a music to the poem yeah mm. in free verse all these things are not applicable mm. so epic poem i'll just give you a small introduction about two three we have with the last thing then we have sonnet which is 14 lines oh okay then there is something called ode it is ode to the west wind ode to the grecian urn you know talking yeah. telling about something have you learned anything not yet not yet so that's it just a little bit of introduction about different types of poems okay okay and there is something called elegy it is about the death of something oh so these there are different types then lyrical ballad it will be a short story the latest pop songs can be compared to lyrical ballads Oh okay okay so mm. I just thought of uh, giving you a heads up about the different types of poems so arundhati wish you all the very best